Okay. Well, I was doing my thing at Captain Quebec for the uh, flash sale. And this was a $5 comic. Let's see if we... $6 American. It was in a flash sale for five. And this is an older book. It's amazing that I can get it at that price. But it was like, if you bought three, you save $2. So I bought The Golden Child. I bought... Um, Uh, two other stories, one of which is the Gotham City story where they're on lockdown, like the last season of uh, the TV show Gotham. And another Frank Miller comic where it was the one where where uh, Robin gets killed. Uh, not Tim Drake, the other one. Ugh, the one who becomes Red Hood. Todd. Todd something. Fuck, it's gonna kill me. It'll come up to me when I when I go over. Anyway, this up. This is the Dark Knight Returns uh, Golden Child. Nothing to do with that Eddie Murphy great movie that came out in the 80s. Now I'm like, oh okay. Uh, I saw it on the table and I needed to get another one. It was the last round for the five dollar comic. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I'll pick this up since no one else is. And Frank Miller's name's on it. All right, cool. This should be great. It's a black label, Batman. Okay, let's go. So we open this up. And, okay. I'm not exactly a fan of the art. She looks like uh, uh, Tetsuo from uh, Akira. But that's all right. I mean, uh, he looks like... Uh, I don't know if that's a he... Oh, fuck, I have fucking no idea. The art is just yushk. Some people may like this style. I hate it when it looks, you know, like uh, I'm trying to be artsy. I like the attention to detail, though. Don't get me wrong. I always appreciate it. So uh, the blue-haired teenager is a giant baby. And the younger uh, Jonathan Kent is a level-headed child. She's like, why save humanity? And he's like, well, why not? I mean, that's just what we do, or, you know, we, we can calm our tits down. Now, I was like, okay, okay, okay. I'm not a big fan of Superman stories, but all right, all right, all right. You know, and she's making her, um, she's making her, her case, trying to fix, uh, they're just trying to fix each other when they're going to break down again and start all over. And she goes on and on. It's pointless. Their lives are so meaningless. They eat. And they never stop eating. Yuck, 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 yuck. And then there's a mob. And let's see what their mob hate is for. Wow. Whoa. What in the fuck is that? I love politics and fucking comic books, man. I love it. It doesn't date it at all. Like, if this was Ronald Reagan or JFK, it doesn't put a date on it. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. You know, they're bitching. Look at the fighting and the, you know, all this. Oh, we're peacefully protesting. And then look at these Joker motherfuckers. Ugh. And, uh, you know, Batgirl shows up and she's all like, I'm going to fuck this shit up. You stop beating up these people who are just protesting kindly. Ugh. I love virtue signaling. I love it. I love it. Look at that American flag. And, you know, and who's behind all this? Who's behind all this? Get this. The people behind... Dark Side and the Joker, because they would work together, right? Dark Side wouldn't disintegrate Joker, and Joker <laughs> bit off more than he could chew by teaming up with Dark Side. They're part of the little politics that are going on. Oh, pushing an agenda. I'm impressed that they put a little vag cup there, you know? Like, I mean, I guess you have to, but you know, whenever I see these virtue signaling things, I immediately think that, oh, women are not going to look like women and men are going to look like women. Look at the Joker. 
What in the fuck is this look? Talk about like making him seem like look, look. Oh, I love this part. She fucks Dark Side up, right? I'm not telling the story. It, 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 as far as you know, it's garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage. We're not going through it. Here's Dark Side, and he's all like, "Ouch!" You're right, the nit nipples. And she beamed him to gone. He starts to regenerate. And he comes back. Right? They have a little banter. He laughs. He throws his Kamehameha beams. Like, look at that. That is nice. Like, say what you want to say about this gross, dirty, grungy shit. This is cool. And then the little kid's like, fuck this shit. And you know what happens when the beam is blue? It actually does shit. And that is cool. And schmutch. Big crater. Now, here's my problem with uh, a lot of these uh, North American comics. If Goku did the first part where Dark Side nothing happened, he'd probably get beat up. Then the bad guy would get somewhat distracted. And then he'd have to train to get better. Or magically tap into uh, another power source, a deeper level, or something, and then he'll fuck. And then this would happen, right? Here, this kid's just like, yeah, all right. I open my eyes, beam. No training, no, no getting better. Just God's gift. They're never getting any better. They're not. Characters aren't growing. That's the one thing I can't stand about these comic books. They're only going to get through whatever they can get through based on whatever they have. They're not getting any better. I mean, there are instances where you catch Captain America training. I have an issue, I think it was issue 400, where U.S. agent shows up while Cap's in the middle of training. And it's like this crazy thing. Just that I hated Captain America. Those fucking boot cups, cuffs look so goddamn dumb. Like I'm watching, I'm like, his 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 top looks like it's got ruffled weird feather things. And he's got cup boots. He looks like a fucking imbecile. And that was his look for years. You like Captain America? No, he looks like a dummy. Even Goku's stupid miscoloration in Dragon Ball GT looks way cooler than Captain America, which is saying something. Right? That's the one thing I can't stand about these books. They never get better. They're already at the peak. They can't possibly learn or, or grow or, or achieve or, or tap in. Uh, Oh, I'm angry now. It's like watching wrestling sometimes. Oh, Superman's hulking up. Points his finger. You and the whole crowd. You. And then he's blabbering and shaking his finger. And it's a uh, punch, punch, punch. Wham, punch. Throw to the ropes. Big boot. Bounce off the ropes. Leg drop. Ah, Hogan, you got some of your nuts and your ass on my face. Sorry, brother. Right? One, two, three, and Hogan's the champ again at 90 years old. They could beat Bret Hart. Oh, I have to excuse me. I have to go let my dog out. Uh, um, <laughs> how do I do that without showing how messy my house is? The ceiling? No, the ceiling is disgusting. Uh, well, I guess she can wait. Oh, I can pause it. Ah. Okay. Ha. Okay. So, without showing everything... Something happens. Someone's being built back up. I'm going to skip a couple pages. He shows back up the thingy. Now she sticks her head in a car to catch a joker, and this is what she does. The only thing I thought about was that she was about to lick the backside of a sack. I don't know why this is something you would do, but when a woman sticks her tongue out like that, I'm not thinking, oh, man, she's really into this punk rock. I'm thinking ahageo or, uh, or sack licking. Oh, at a local arcade. Gotta love this shit. Like, you don't even need to know the story. All this writing is useless. It doesn't push anything. The visuals do all the work for you. All it is is... Oh, there it comes back up. That's freaking awesome. Again, did he go and train off for three, three months and get a new form? Nope. Just came back. 
And now everyone seems a little scared. Oh, controlling. It looks like John and Kent's a little angrier now. Yeah. It hurts, it burns, it hurts, and it burns, it hurts, it burns. Yucky, 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 yucky. So all this was what? It was a girl power comic, but it didn't tell you that men were shit. So at the very least, it had that going for it. There was zero blood. So I don't know why it has a black label. If there was swearing, you could have easily removed it. It wouldn't have done anything to take away from the, the story. It's kind of like, oh man, Old Man Logan's movie, well, I don't remember what it was, X3, uh, Wolverine 3 or whatever. God, that movie was awful. It was like, hey man, we got an X-ray, what are we gonna do? We're gonna make Wolverine swear a lot. Was there grotesque blood? No. Was there gore? No. Were people viscerally killed? No. Well, what was the point then? Oh, I hated that movie the entire time. I was like, okay, could it be over? Okay, could it be over? Okay, could it be over? God damn it, is it ever gonna get over? And then finally when it ended, I'm like, wow, well, that was dumb. Big fucking dumb, dumb. And like, the end, no, spoilers, sorry, but like the, oh, maybe I won't say. The end was just stupid. It was like, what was the point? It was, what, it was like when you played, uh, Magna Carta. I don't know if anybody of you played Magna Carta. Um, the um, the main character girl with the huge titans. Well, she's like she's like all the tropes of, of, of an RPG, but she gets killed near the end, and I'm like, why? It wasn't even necessary. It was like there's no point in doing that. Now, so a lot of you are like. Hey man, spoilers. First of all, if you play Magna Carta for like 10 minutes, you will shut it off. Even with action replay, this game is unplayable. This is up there with Unlimited Saga. So this book, <laughs> this book was as painful to get through as playing Magna Carta. And only that story made more sense. You're like, kill off the hero or kill off the girl. It's like, just, <laughs> but like this, this, <laughs> What well, what did this accomplish? Okay, the blue hair these these girls are super badass. Nice, nice. Okay, well they didn't piss on me. They throw in the hate Trump crap. <laughs> they put these two big badasses, the Dark Side and the Joker, together, and these two clowns could easily beat them. And Batman, woman, girl is just driving around, sticking her ball licking tongue out to everybody. Ah, what's up? Like it's a Budweiser commercial from the nineties. No, man. I, for what? For what? Oh, we feel better now. We we pat ourselves on the back for being women. Okay, but nobody, nobody was like, hey, man, women can't do shit. Like when I watched Terminator and Terminator Two, I wasn't like, that's not believable. Linda Hamilton can't kill nobody. When I was watching Alien, Aliens, Aliens is three. I wasn't like Sigourney Weaver. God, this is bullshit. When people were watching Tomb Raider, no one was like, yeah, right, uh, Angelina Jolie. You couldn't lift two guns up if they were made of helium. Right? No one was saying shit like that. When she throat slapped somebody at the end, the end of the Tomb Raider movie, no one was like, unbelievable. No way she'd be able to do No. She seemed credible. Women can be tough and be credible. But you know what all those women didn't do? They didn't go around saying, yo, man. We're only better because you're a man, suck. You're a white man, you suck even worse. You're like the suckiest shit that ever sucked. I know a lot of girls who suck with a lot of guys who love to suck dick and you suck worse than them. I'm like, dude, wait, so they're, they're bad at suck, sucking dick? That's not what I meant. You know, I, I, well, what did I gain from this? Nothing. What did it do for the story? Nothing. Putting Trump's face everywhere. What did that do? Nothing. Now, I don't like Trump. I would never vote for that asshole, except for against Biden. I totally would have voted for Trump. 
I'd have been like, yep, yeah, I'll take the, because the left does not need any more ammunition right now. They don't need the pendulum to keep pulling back on their side. Pretty soon we won't be able to say fuck all if I don't walk around saying I'm a lefty lefter or down with the conservatives or you're not allowed to think. You know, if I don't walk around saying shit like that, I mean, that's how it's going to go with, with uh, Biden in charge. He keeps pulling back on that string. Anyways, that motherfucker's going to die and they're going to have a lady there. Whatever her name is. I don't even remember. Remember, I'm Canadian, so the politics in America are like a little bit beyond my full comprehension. But the idea that the left is as far control as they are. Look, <laughs> let's put it this way. Ricky Gervais is not wrong. Even though he's a comedian and it's satire making fun of or whatever excuse comedians get to have for when they make stupid jokes that a lot of people don't like. All right. I love what he said. He's right on the money. A lot of people agree with him. And those people are the smart people. Voting for Trump is a bad idea, but you don't need to put it in a comic book. You don't need to put it like fucking there's a protest going on. And like, I'm sorry, the BLM protest, how many people got killed? There is a girl and an old black dude who were killed for the protest. No fucking news coverage for that. If you're going to make things political, be sure that you're going to have people that go, that will roll their eyes. Because just like religion, even if you do are, are super political in your, in your, in your beliefs and shit, you know, it, you're going to have people that are more of a believer in the political whatever than you or less. You got the conservatives who are like, yo man, I need my freedoms and I need this and I don't want to vote for, for you guys. I'm voting for my guys, but I don't want the government to do anything. So as far as you're concerned, you don't really care who's in charge, really. Because you don't... <laughs> you're only voting for someone who's not going to do anything. He was the best president ever, but he didn't do anything. Exactly. Well, what was the president for then? Like he didn't... Hmm. There's so many different things and different arguments all over the place and people can argue till they're blue in the face and people can roll their eyes. But at the end of the day, we vote these idiots in and they never do what they're supposed to do. And we keep voting the same idiots in and hope that there'll be a change. And sometimes there is. They did make uh, all these suburbs of Montreal, one island, one city, where it raised the taxes for all the poor people that lived in the poor boroughs. And then there was a referendum to separate all that shit. And magically, the two towns, which I, this is when I stopped believing in politics, the two, two of the uh, suburb cities in the Montreal area, Roxborough and Dollar des they magically didn't want a referendum separation. I'm like, there's no fucking way people in Roxborough were like, yeah, I like having higher taxes. And there's no way people in Dollar were like, I like slightly higher than when I'm paying taxes. No fucking way. There was no benefit to anybody. You know, if anything, that would probably slow down progression because the mayor, you vote for each individual borough, they're in charge of the financial distribution and the snow removal and stuff like that. If you have one island, one city, it means there's going to only be one dude in charge of that and a bunch of little sub dudes in charge of those things instead of, each city doing it. So when you walk around, you're like, oh, I have room. Like a guy who does the snow removal in downtown Montreal, close to like some of the hospitals, he's got more to deal with because of the one-way streets and the parking situation than someone who's, li who's doing the snow removal for a suburb where, he, no, there's no one-way streets. <laughs> you know, like it, it boggles the mind, the political dumbness. And this, what was this for? Six dollars and a waste of my life to read this shit. Who gained anything from this? Not me. I didn't gain shit. I would have done a, a, a death lock reviews, but there's really nothing from to say. It's a big yakety yak match between uh, Dark Side and these these three peoples. Joker's just there. Nothing clever. Nothing uh, meticulously planned. It was just. Carnage ensues, and the bigger beams win. It's essentially a wrestling match. It was like a Hogan match on Raw. Oh, yeah, he was against, uh, I don't know, pick a big guy. Earthquake. Uh, he's going to win. He's going to fucking win. Like, really easy. Uh, now, the reason I, I was so mad about this, okay, now, I'm not, um, like I said, I'm, I'm a liberal. 
So I would never vote for Trump. But you could see this as an anti-Trump statement. And I rolled my eyes. My eyes couldn't roll any further in the back of my skull without coming out of my ass. You know, uh, the, uh, you date your books. You, 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 <laughs> you might be on the wrong side of history. You know, in a few years, when uh, all the shit that Trump maybe have done for the economy, like people are saying that the um, unemployment rate is at an all-time low. Now, is that because Trump did it, or is that the backlashes of what um, Obama did, and that's just leaking into Trump's administration, so he gets to take the credit? Like, I really don't know. I don't know. All I know is that the American dollar's down, so I can go and buy shit on Amazon.com and get shit cheaper. Thank you very much. At one point, when I went to Disney, and I was just so fucking lucky, our dollars were the same. <laughs> oh, my God. It was the cheapest Disney trip ever. It was, on, it was on the Canadian dollar. Everything was just like, usually it's a quarter, my dollar's a quarter less, or our dollar's worth a quarter less than American dollars. And, oh, it was just so nice. It was so nice. Except in Canada, when we're carded, we use our Medicare card to show proof of ID. Uh, none of us brought our driver's license since we weren't going to drive anywhere. We, we were on site and we took the transit that they offered on site. So, and we took the shuttle bus to and from the airport. So we didn't need our driver's license. We weren't gonna carry any more extra shit than we needed to. So we had our Medicare cards in case we had to go to the hospital or whatever. And that's usually our proof of ID because it's a government issued piece of identification with your date of birth. Did not work. Bring your passport. I'm like, no, number one rule of traveling, you leave your passport in the hotel in the safe so this way if it ever goes missing the hotel is accountable you're stupid you're dumb why would i bring it on me just have some american pickpocket me at disney come on so that kind of sucked couldn't order beer from this one bar but the other bars didn't care like yeah i wanted to show my bald spot at the time but like look no 17 year olds got a bald spot sorry no 20 year olds got a bald spot please please twice please please anyways uh, do I recommend this book? Fuck no. The other one, Frank Miller, was uh, uh, cool. where the Joker takes out Robin. But the Robin is that Todd guy. Okay, I'm thinking, <laughs> for whatever reason, I'm thinking Richard Todd. I'm like, no, it's not Richard Todd. Stupid name. Todd is a dumb name. Uh, George Carlin goes on. When do these kids have these dumb names? Like... Hi, Todd. I'm Kyle. Hi, Kyle. I'm Todd. Hey, Blake. Hi, Jordan. You know, it's funny because that's my brother's name. Which one, though? Huh? Yeah. I, I love that part because I'm like, oh, hey, your name is in the George. Your name is dumb, according to George Carlin. You know, when remember when we had real names? Eddie. Eddie's a guy who gets things done. They always gave the, the big jobs to a guy named Eddie. Yeah. But now they call him Edward. Or Ed. With two D's. Nah, 